Hi YouTube, I made quite a cool little monster recently so I'm just going to talk you through the stages. First of all I started off with some aluminium foil and I just made a shape like this. This is going to become the mouth. So it's basically just a, like a sort of dome of aluminium foil just squashed together just to make this very basic shape. Then I use these teeth that I buy on eBay. Actually some of these came from a car boot sale, some of them were from eBay. I think you can buy quite a few sets for like about sort of eight pounds, ten pounds, something like that, and they come on these kind of wax strips. So you can see here various ones. I just used the ones that I like at the time. So some of these have got ones missing, some of them are complete. Um, but yeah, you get sort of molars and incisors, canines, all different shapes, and then you can decide which ones you want to use. I think they're the actual ones that are used by dentists. They're basically just ceramic teeth. So I then coated my aluminium shape with some milliput. Milliput is a two-part putty that you mix together so it becomes a sort of greyish green colour. And, uh, and then I just pressed a very thin layer of this around my aluminium shape. And while it was still uh, soft, I pressed the teeth into it and just moulded these kind of gum shapes and the tongue. Milliput takes about four hours to set and then it becomes rock solid. Notice the basic dimple texture that I've done on the tongue. This was just done with a small ball stylus just pressed into it to make the little holes. Then I made an upper lip which is basically just like making a long sausage shape, pressing it on and then I just used a tool to press in to get the kind of wrinkles on the lip. Um, and then I've made a nose as well. You can see it's very basic on the back at the moment, but the front has got all the good textures. Then I made a lower lip in exactly the same way, long sausage shape, and then just press in to get the wrinkles. Um, and then I've made these two feet, very basic, just with some toenails. Um, and this will be a nice kind of base for him to stand on. And then I just rolled two eyeballs just in my hands hand rolled so they're not perfect spheres but they'll be round enough to make some good eyes with. You can see there's a little kind of um, flat surface where as I was letting the milliput dry I just um, left it on a flat surface so you've got those kind of flat bits but it doesn't matter because those will go at the back of the eyes or on the eye stalks that I'm going to make later. Like this so this is how he turned out with his eye stalks you can see I've also added two small arms and then I've put lots of kind of warts all over his nose and his upper lips and on his arms and on his feet. So those were just made by making little balls, pressing them on and then kind of uh, moulding them onto the various surfaces and then just pushing again with a ball stylus into the middle just to make a hole in each one. You can see a similar texture that I did to the tongue on the eye stalks. Um, I think that will just make it a bit more interesting when I come to paint it. Um, you can see I also gave him a tail at the back um, because he wasn't standing up otherwise. He was just going to fall backwards because of the weight of the eyes. I kept the tail very simple because it's at the back so you won't see it most of the time. It really is just a feature to keep him standing up. Okay, for the main painting stages, I started off by painting him ultramarine blue, pretty much everywhere, on his nose and his arms and his feet. Um, and then I've gone in with green for the lips and the tongue. Um, it's also blue inside his mouth, which is nice and dark, and it makes the teeth kind of stand out more. Um, and then his eye stalks. Um, I did blue at the base, but then I've blended some red down onto that. So you've got this kind of nice kind of blend, looks lighter at the top of the eye stalks, darker at the bottom. Uh, and then I've also painted the eyeballs just flat white to start with. I've done all the warts in green as well, just initially. So everything's fairly flat colours at the moment at this stage. I'm using System 3 acrylic paints to do all of the colours on this one. So this is how he turned out. So after those initial flat colours, what I did was come in with some dry brush technique. So this is just where you get some colour and you basically just rub it on a bit of kitchen paper or something until there's hardly any on your paintbrush. And then you just lightly brush it over the tops of different surfaces to get the textures. 
So you can see on the green lips here, I've gone in with some pink dry brush over the top and that just brings out all those kind of um, textures in the lips. I've also done some pink on the eye stalks, just where the sort of the highlights would be really. Same like with a lighter blue on any of the blue areas. It just brings out those kind of edges and things. I've painted his toenails red with a sort of pink edge to it. Um, I've dry brushed pink on the tongue. You can see that really picks the texture out. Um, and then I've obviously painted his eyeballs. I've done some kind of veins uh, just to give a more realistic eyeball effect. I've done a bit of pink on the top of his warts and painted his gums pink as well. Um, I used a stencil to do his um, irises and his pupils. Then I coated the whole thing with some super PVA glue. This just gives the whole thing a glossy effect and it also protects the acrylic paint. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it might have inspired you to make a little monster of your own. Check out my other videos and hit subscribe to see anything that I post up in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.